what EQ is are five skills. It spells the acronym CARDS. It's our own little acronym. It helps people remember it. I like acronyms because it helps us kind of chunk that information. So here are the five skills, everybody. And I want you to just think to yourself, how would you rate yourself according to these five skills? All right. So the first C stands for your communication skill, your ability to give and receive feedback. It's your ability to build trust with your teams. A stands for your uh, attitude, your attitude of yourself. Are you arrogant, confident, or insecure? Um, humility is a huge piece around confidence. Are you willing to receive feedback? Okay, that's all part of the A. It's also goal setting is also part. So it's attitude and goal setting. So somebody who has very high EQ, they know what they want in their life. They've got goals. They've got direction. They know with where they're heading. R stands for your relationship skills. Exactly what Johnny was talking about. Your ability to see life from a different lens. You Realizing that how you see the world is how different than, than how other people see the world. That's where cultural differences, di personality differences, gender differences all kind of come into play. It's, it's understanding that the way that I see it is going to be different than how AJ sees it is going to be different than how Johnny sees it and being able to lean into that and listen. D stands for your decision making and your dis self-discipline and your performance skills. So you know, that's an interesting one. People don't realize that when you're managing your time, you're using your emotional intelligence. It's somebody who is, so somebody who really, with a really high EQ, they're able to say, this is the goal I want. And they're able to be self-disciplined and step on the gas and take initiative, even though it doesn't feel right, or they're not feel, they don't feel motivated. They do it anyway. So that's kind of a really critical piece around EQ. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. And the last one, which is huge, especially with the whole mental health movement, is your stress and your energy emotion management skills. Somebody who has really high EQ, they um, they know what they understand with what emotions are. They can differentiate between a thought and a feeling. They know what they need to do to kind of lower their stress. They have certain rituals and, and habits and boundaries in place to manage their stress so that they can actually operate at a very high level. So high performers, a lot of we work with a lot of high performers, and they really focus on how do you perform at a very high level with actually lower stress.